Hey there, crafty friends. Welcome to 30 Days of Sketches, Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 13, and this is Day 19. Our sketch today is by Janet Fritz from Galaxy, Galaxy Girl Creations. And again, if you haven't watched any of my videos this month, I am doing photos from two different trips we took in the late 90s to Walt Disney World, one with uh, good friends of ours and one just my husband and I before we had kids. So I have grabbed a whole bunch of paper packs that have the color candy apple in it and I'm using that color as well as some die cuts or some Mickey head punches that my friend Missy lent me her punches for to kind of be the thread that carries the continuity throughout all of my pages. So I just went and kind of, like I said, picked some scraps from all of the paper packs that I have lying around my desk from all the creating that I've done the last several weeks. And these two photos are just photo ops that we took. One of them is with my BFF Laura giving the Lego guy a kiss on the cheek, the sleeping tourist. And then the other one was we stayed at the All Star Movies Resort and um, they had this big TV, as you can see, set up, and so uh, the cast member there took a photo of us as we were on TV. So that was just fun taking some photo ops. So here I'm looking at Janet's sketch, and she has kind of done all of these big layers, one behind the other with some stars or the embellishments kind of clustered around that top title in the center. I wish that I would have left my layout like I have it here with the green anchored to the right side, but when I assembled it later, it ends up on the left side, spoiler alert. But I think her layout has a better balance than mine does. Mine will definitely be what I would call a right side page when I put my album pages together, or I might go back and see what it would be if I can um, pry up the green paper and slide it to the right. But as of right now, the layout's done and you'll see how it comes along. But I wish that I would have had it more like I have it right now in my dry fitting. Life happens. So now I have matted my photos on just white and then I'm putting them on this piece. I believe it's Carolina blue. And then, like I said, I just have different paper packs that I'm grabbing all of these components from. Uh, the one with the rainbow here is from Blue Skies. Um, the green star paper is also Blue Skies. I want to say this blue, um, the blue bird striped paper, I think is from the Beach Collection. I can't think of what it's, um, Life's a Beach maybe? No, I don't remember what it is, but um, it's a Beach Collection paper, I'm pretty sure. So here I'm just kind of trying, I'm straightening out the edge because I had ripped off a part of it and I'm just kind of dry fitting. And like I said, I really like this balance better for the photos. Totally didn't end up that way. So you'll have to keep watching to see which side you like better. You can weigh in in the comments. I'm going to take this time while I'm fussing with all these papers to remind you that in the description below this video, are playlists and product links. So any of the products that you purchase through those links, I will either receive a commission from close to my heart, or I will receive a thank you from Amazon for sending you over there. If you know of YouTube people that you like and you want to support them, check out and order through those links. It doesn't cost you any more, but it really does help support those creators. So here I am using from my bucket of pre-done Mickey head punches. I'm just kind of getting a collection of the Mickey heads, kind of following where Janet had her clusters, but deciding that I'm only going to have two of them here. And I haven't yet cut this green paper off. And I think this is what threw me as I have it. It's all 12 inches long and it's on here and I didn't keep it pulled to the right side. I have the word friends that friend, yeah, friends that was cut out from one of my earlier Winnie the Pooh pages. And I just thought that that would be perfect here because these are the friends. And this is what my journaling says on the end is Jeff and Laura are the friends that when you're going to get together with them, it doesn't matter what the occasion is, you know, there's going to be belly laughs and you are just going to hurt 
and we just have a good time, support each other. They're the friends that I wish that everybody had in their lives because they're just that great. So now before I glue everything down, I am getting better at that this month. It's kind of like practice kind of helps remind you of these things. I'm going to use the stars from the design element stand set and then the little stars from that just one of those days stamp set that you saw there. And I'm brushing off some of the cornstarch that was left on my desk and got on the back of my mat when I take the sticky off of some of the stickers that I was using. So here it is. I'm now moving my green to the left side and instead of the right. And I'm just um, going back. I realized that I could save the center of that rainbow paper by just cutting off the top and the bottom because you don't see the center. And so I, I just thought that it would be nice to have that later on. And I was kind of auditioning where the papers went so that I could do more stamping and make sure that I filled in the areas. And that's that's, I think, where I kind of got messed up on this. But the layout is done. It's another page ready for the album. So I'm excited about that. Today is also the day that Coast to Coast brings out their collaboration. They use prompts from the Stories with Stacy card deck. And so be sure to look for hashtag c 2 c 23 if you want to check out those layouts. I am not participating in that this month. Just the photos that I had with the sketch from Janet um, and the prompts, I couldn't figure out a way to make them all come together and work. And I'm really feeling good about the progress I'm making on this Disney project. So I'm going to stay the course with that. But that doesn't mean that I don't support them and I won't be back next month for Coast to Coast. So I encourage you to go check that out. And here I'm putting on some of these die cut stars and then I realized I didn't like that one there. I liked it down in the bottom when it was in with the other stars stamping, but I didn't like it um, there on the green for whatever reason it bothered me. So here again I am taking my journaling jots um, journaling line stamp set and I use this all the time on many of my layouts. I think this whole month so far, this is exactly how I have added journaling lines to my layout. So I'm going to grab my white gel pen here and then do my highlights along my Mickey heads. And um, if you haven't watched any of this or you haven't don't have a gel pen, I highly encourage you get one. It can be silver, it can be gold, it can be white. Um, but just adding these little glints really kind of elevate this page. It just takes it from a, oh, that's a nice page to, oh, there's something more. So um, I didn't always do this, but I think I am becoming a fan. And practice makes perfect. I'll probably get out of this habit and forget about it, but then come back to it later on. So there I've added my journaling that I told you about. This page is done. Be sure to check out the playlist under the description. One of them has all of the participants for the 30 Days of Sketches video, and one of them is just my 30 Days of Sketches projects. Have a great day. Blessings.